Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. The next bend that we're going to make is called a back-to-back -back 90. In other words, we already have a 90 on the end of one, at one end of this conduit, and we want to make another 90 degree bend in the same stick of conduit. So in this case, we need to make our measurement. So what I've done, I take, I've got that first 90 that we've made, and I've placed it against the bender handle. And we're using the bender handle as a straight edge here to help with our measurement. So this is a good trick to remember that you can use often. So we want a 90 degree angle in this conduit 100 inches away from the previous 90 that we just made. So we're measuring from the bender handle, so we're going to come down 100 inches. And you can see I've got a mark made here at 100 inches. Now, on the technique in which we made the other 90 degree angle, we would subtract 6 inches place the arrow mark of the bender there, and then bend the 90. However, you can see there's not that much of the pipe left in order for us to, to bend up, and it would be awkward to do this. So, on the back-to-back -back bending technique, what we do is we go ahead and mark our pipe at 100 inches, and then we're going to place the star mark of the bender on that mark, and then turn the bender facing the other way to bend it. So let me get the bender right now, and we'll do that. So again, I've got my mark, and now I'm going to go down and take the star mark on my bender, and I place it at the mark. And notice here, again, I've got just a little bit of pipe here. If I were to mark six inches away and put the arrow here, I don't have very much pipe to support me while I'm trying to make a bend. So on the back-to-back -back technique, we put it at our actual mark, or actual measurement, and turn the bender to face away from it, and then we make our bend that way. So I, I turn the pipe in the air, and what I have to do now is get the 90 to be straight up and down. So I check that out at the other end. Okay, and now it's just a matter of bending a 90 degree angle, which we've done several times already. So remember, we want to start with some steady foot pressure. And we're just going to bend this over. Okay, and again, now my right hand is just for balance again. And I'm getting close. I'm going to check it out a little bit further. Okay, a little more. Okay, I like that. So now let's take a look and see how well this came out. So, we have our tape hooked on the first 90 that we made. Now we're going to measure across and see how far it is to the second 90. So notice we have two 90 degree angles in the same stick of conduit. And we marked it at 100 inches and we put our star mark of the bender on that mark and made our bend. And we can see that we have two 90s 100 inches apart. Now one thing to point out on this is the outside edge of the 90 here, the outside edge of the pipe, to the outside edge of the other 90 is the 100 inch measurement. So keep that in mind. It goes from the outside to the outside on this measurement if you use it. But once again, a quick review of the technique. We marked from the outside edge of the first 90 the distance that we needed for this bend place the star mark of the bend on it and then we make our bend. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.